In this video, I'm going to be discussing how to calculate the probability that a sample mean is between two numbers. Okay, And in particular, I'm talking about example 7.2 from the OpenStats textbook, which you're going to download for free via this link. And I will be using Excel as my calculator. Okay, so let's start by reading through the question. The length of time in hours it takes an over 40 group of people to play one soccer match is normally distributed with a mean of two hours and a standard deviation of half an hour. Okay, so that's basically saying that X, if X is the length of time it takes to play one soccer match, is distributed, so this little squiggly line means distributed, normal, so N represents normal distribution, with a mean of two and a standard deviation of half an hour. Okay, so this is the mean of the X distribution, and this is the standard deviation of X. Okay, so now they have taken a sample of size 50. So basically they've gone out and looked at 50 soccer matches. So N equals 50. And they want to know the probability that the sample mean, so after they've gotten these 50 soccer matches, they want to know the probability that the sample mean, X bar, is between 1.8 hours and 2.3 hours. Okay, so in order to solve this problem, the first thing that I need to think about is what is the distribution of X bar? They've given me the distribution of X of a single soccer match. A single soccer match is normally distributed with a mean of two and a standard deviation of half. But what about the distribution of the sample mean? In order to find this probability for the sample mean, I need to know the distribution of the sample mean. Well, according to the central limit theorem, it is normally distributed and it has the exact same mean as X, okay? So this mean that's here is the exactly the same mean that's there, okay? So this is the mean of X bar, which is exactly the same thing as the mean of X. Then the standard deviation, this is what changes a little bit. It's the standard deviation of X divided by the square root of the sample size, okay? So this is going to be equal to sigma x divided by square root of whatever n is. And that is what sigma x bar is, okay? So this equals sigma x bar, the standard deviation for the sample means. Okay. All right, so now once I have the distribution of x bar, I can calculate this probability using pretty much similar ways I would have calculated the probability if I just had x, okay? So start by drawing out my distribution. In the center, I have the sample. In the center, I have mu. Okay, so this is the distribution of x bar. Then, uh, let's see, I have 1.8 over here to the left of two, and 2.3 is somewhere over here to the right of two. And basically what I need to find is this area between 1.8 and 2.3, okay? All right, well, how am I gonna do this? Remember, if I use a calculator or if I use you know, anything that calculates a cumulative probability distribution, that's gonna find the probability that X bar, or the sample mean, is that number or less, right? So if I start by finding the probability that X bar is less than 2.3, so let me write equals the probability that X bar is less than 2.3, that's too much, right? Because it covers all the way back less than 2.3. Well, it's too much by this part here. I need to basically subtract off this back piece. So minus the probability that X bar is less than 1.8. Okay, and so once I do that difference, I'll be left with the area between, the yellow area between the two, the 1.8 and 2.3, okay? The area between 1.8 and 
which is what I want. So perfect. So now I can just go to Excel and I can calculate this probability. Okay, so once I'm in Excel, I'm going to type equals norm.dist and I'm going to start by finding the probability that x bar is less than 2.3. So I'm going to write 2.3, the mean was 2, all right, and then the standard deviation. Remember the standard deviation was a little different. It was that 0 0.5 divided by sqrt, or the square root, of the sample size, which was 50. Okay, so that's the main difference here. We have the standard deviation is the standard deviation of the x divided by the square root of n. And then type comma, true. Always true for cumulative. Okay, and that's the probability that x bar is less than 2.3. So I can press enter there. Okay, next I want to know equals norm.dist. And now I want to know 1.8 probability that x bar is less than 1.8. The mean is still 2. The standard deviation is 0 0.05 divided by sqrt, the square root of 50. Okay, comma, and you always say true for cumulative. Close parentheses, press enter. Okay, all right, so now I basically I have the, the probability that x bar is less than 2.3 and the probability that x bar is less than 1.8. So I need to find the difference between these two numbers. So I'll type equals, and I'll click on the first cell, and I'll type minus, and I'll click on the second cell, and I'll press enter. All right, and there we go, that's my answer. 0.99765, or viewed around that to four decimals, 0.9977, okay? Okay, so this equals 0.9977. Basically, you have a very high probability, 99.77% chance that the sample mean will be between 1.8 and 2.3 hours.